I'm going to add some modeling to the bottle now. Mix a little raw sienna and some Prussian blue. Just dropped in some light red there too. A bit warmer area at the top. I'm still just adding the main areas of shadow that I can see. There are hundreds of tiny details that I could put in, but uh, as I say, I just want to give an impression. As you can see, I'm alternating between warm and cool colors on these shadows. Now move on to the this big, big area here. Quite a dark line around the edge there. I'm going to put some more shadow in this big area here now. There's quite a dark outline around this ellipse here. darker shadows on the inside here. To make sure these reflections follow the, the ellipse to make the center here a bit darker. So mix up some burnt umber again, some ultramarine.
that's it. And then just soften that edge with a damp brush. And I'll just allow that to dry now. Now that that cornet's dried off, I'm going to put some more detail in the bottle. I can see some quite dark green areas in the, the neck of the bottle there and around the top. So I'll mix up some Prussian blue and some raw sienna. A bit more of colour down this left hand side too. Messed off those two splashes there. And soften these edges a little. Just allow that to dry. Just some final details to put on this bottle now. Soften that edge there with a damp brush. And now I'll put some more detail on the apple. Mix up a little cadmium red and some raw sienna. The top side of this apple here. Soften that edge. Just created that little dimple in the top there where the stalk goes. Soften the outside edge there. There's some more red on the left hand side of the apple here. It's in shadow here. So I'll add a little ultramarine to that to darken it. That should do. that dark area next to the edge of the cornet there and it brings up that highlight on the edge. Gradually fade it out as it comes into the light here. Just want to put some more green on the far edge there. Lemon yellow. And just put that on the edge there. Again, soften it with a damp brush. And I've got to increase the shadow under here but I need to let that dry completely first. Just a few small details left to do now. We've got some small details left on the uh, cornet there, some ultramarine and burnt umber. A couple of little shadows on the 
valves of this cornet here. But I don't want to get carried away and start doing intricate little details. I think that'll do for that. Stalk of the apple, very important. And also the shadow of the stalk as it curves upwards out of that little hollow. That's it. Now I need to make that shadow under the apple a little stronger. It's quite strong under that apple there. The shadow gets lighter as it gets nearer the cornet there. So I think that's it. I can't see anything else that I need to do on that. I hope that you've enjoyed the demonstrations and this inspired you and given you a few ideas of your own for your own still life in watercolour. Goodbye. Now available to buy. Try these techniques at home whenever you wish. The extended DVD of today's workshop and the book that accompanies this series are now available from the Painting and Drawing channel. For further information and to order your copy, go to www.paintingdrawingchannel.com.